Namaste. Okay, let's look at head and by swing. And we'll start once again in our natural stance. And we're going to shift and step out to the side a little wider. Shift onto that foot, step out as wide as we can comfortably. We're going to end up in a horse stance with the feet parallel. We're going to test how deep we can go by squatting. I just want to make sure my head doesn't lean past my knees. I keep my head behind my knees as I press down, cross the arms in front, lift up, open up to five-pointed start position with the palms nice and open, and then sit lightly onto the legs. So I'm not going to go too deep, I'm just going to sit lightly and then relax my body. And we'll begin by laying the head to the one side, getting a stretch on the side of the neck, bring the head up and center, look across the shoulder, and sit, move evenly. Try not to let your hips rotate in or out, or the knees dip in, I want to keep my knees pressed out, my weight even, as I sink down into the hips, into the legs, and then when I can sit no further, I'm going to use my arms to guide my body and lean across my leg with my head in towards the inside of my knee comfortably. If you can't go all the way down, which I think you can, if you don't go all the way down, that's fine, that's, that happens. I would just keep my hands on top of my knees, my thighs, and straighten out my opposite arm and just go as deep as I can. My hands would stay on top. If I can go all the way down and I have the support of my leg with my chest, then I'm going to take that where my head is, I'm going to take that hand and slip underneath and grab behind the knee joint so that I'm going to still straighten up that arm, the opposite arm, and then I'm going to pull out like I'm trying to spread my legs, press my knees out, open up the hips, groin and then the hand comes to the top of the knee. Swing center, I'm looking basically straight down at the ground. I'm going to let my butt and my chest drop as deep as I can. And I'm going to press out the inside of my knees comfortably. Then I'm going to swing to the opposite side and straighten up the opposite arm. Feel some pressure across the back. But on this side now, as I'm coming up, I want to keep my hand on top of my thigh, my knee. So as I push up, I'm coming up over my leg from the side. And I'm looking to the side of the shoulder and then bringing the head to the front. And then we go to the other side. Feel stretch gently across the neck. Don't press too deep. Bring the head up and center. Look and sit. Let your hands slide down towards the knees. Use your arms to guide yourself down. If you come all the way down, slip your hand underneath the knee and pull out. If you don't go all the way down, keep the hands on top of the knees. We're going to straighten up that opposite arm. Then I'm going to bring the hand to the top of the knee once again and then swing my head and body center, looking straight down. My head's dropped, it's low. Back of my neck is straight though. Then I'm gonna straighten up this arm, come to the opposite side, keep my hand on top, push myself up, looking across the opposite side of the room, and then bring my head to center. Good. And then we go to the other side. Bring the head up, turn and look. We're looking straight across. We're not looking behind our shoulders like we did in looking behind. We're looking straight, which would be now to the right side of the room for you. Sink and bend. Stretch, open up and then swing center. Let the butt drop as deep as you can. Swing the opposite side. This would be your left side. 
it's helpful in the beginning to kind of look at your left foot and as you push yourself up look across the floor until you're sitting upright looking at the wall or the other side of the room and then finally bring the head to center This side. Yeah, bring the head up. Look. Sit. Bring the sit no further. Bend. Slip the hand underneath and straighten up the opposite arm. Stretch. Bring the hand to the top of the knee, swing center. Press as deep as you can. Swing to the opposite side, straighten up that arm. Use your hand, your arm to push yourself up. Make sure not to strain the lower back muscles. Once you're up, return to head to center and relax. We'll go ahead and do this again. Shimmy the feet, transition. I'm gonna to rock to the balls of my feet, my toes just slightly, and swing my heels in. I wanna keep the knees bent so I don't lose my balance. Then I'm going to rock back to slightly into my heels and turn my feet parallel. Then shimmy the feet in again, heels in, breath in, toes in, breath out. 